Welcome back, everybody, to Hermitcraft. How we doing? How we doing? Today is a big day, a really big day, and I'm not gonna lie, I am extremely nervous. Nervous, you say? But but why, Tango? Nervous because today is the day that we are going to start the factory, and I think I've spent like four days off camera just thinking about various ideas of how I want to do this. I've prototyped some redstone. You guys know me. I'm a planner. I'm a planner, and I like to plan things out, and I like to make sure that they turn out just the way I want them to turn out. But I gotta say, this one? Not so sure. Not so sure. But I mean, at some point, I just gotta pull the trigger, and we just gotta get started, and we'll we'll work with what happens. So that's the way it's just gotta be. But yeah, we got a lot to do today. We're gonna talk about the storage room, or the automation, how the factory is all gonna work from the technical side, how, the size of everything. You see, I got little pillars posted here already. That's the rough size of my base. Overall, we got a lot to cover here, but before we even get started with that, we had a visit this week from uh, a certain somebody who had a certain something that I wanted, and oh, things turned out very, very well. Hello, Tango. Hello, Wells Knight. How are you? I am good. What What do I owe the, the pleasure of your visit? What's up? Well, you're just looking exceptionally beautiful this morning. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> well, uh, uh, I think the real question is, what do you want? What do I want? Oh, uh, where is it? Well, <laughs> it, it's it's not in there. It's, it's ah, right here. Okay. Yeah, that'd be nice. This it, is the uh, redstone permit number two. Consists of dispensers, droppers, hoppers, pistons, sticky pistons, crackers, and all oh, all the yummy things. All, and I know that you you have redstone permit number one. I do. I do. Yes. Here's my hand. So let me ask you a question, Tango. What other permits do you have what other permits do i have i have light blue wool chiseled bookshelves glowstone sponge shroom lights and then the redstone you somehow managed to have zero permits i'm actually interested in <laughs> <laughs> i was hoping you'd have at least one glass. oh that's a bummer uh, so here's the deal i am willing to give you redstone collection number two okay but with two stipulations okay Stipulation number one, I get to take whatever I want from the redstone shop for free. Absolutely. The, yes. the end. Yes. Right? Yes. Stipulation number two, I get half the profits from the redstone shop. From all the redstone or just your side of the redstone? From all the redstone. Because mm. here's, here's the thing, Tango. I know. See, I've been watching your videos. Yeah. You know, uh, you may or may not know this, but I am indeed a fan. Oh, okay. Well, excellent. Good to hear. But buttering me up. I know that you the have deal. plans. <laughs> I, I know that you have plans to automate all of the redstone things. Yes. Yes, I do. So I know that you're going to be doing not a whole lot <laughs> once you actually have said automation set up. Well, I mean, I got, okay, you're right. Probably not much. Maybe moving the so redstone what, over. So, yeah. so I'm willing to give you to, the, uh, I'm willing to give you this permit. Hmm. You don't have to give me any other permits in return. So I'm essentially okay. sacrificing my diamond permit. So basically what I'm saying is, if I give you this, I have nothing else that's worthy of I got it. I got it. I got so, it. All right. So when, I need this to be a moneymaker for me, Tango. When, no, no, no. I get it. I get it. <laughs> well, tonight, you got a deal. Excellent. <gasps> It's all yours, buddy. You okay. now have a monopoly we on will, redstone we, stuff. You will make a hefty profit, and uh, I'll be good to my word about, about splitting it. I knew you wanted it, so I figured we'd work something it's out. It's going to be a great way, shop. I I'm excited. To, I get to just sit back and collect back and money. Sit back and collect money. Yeah, anything. yeah, you're smart. So, you I love know. it. Wonderful. All right, well, I'm yeah, happy. This is great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I could help. Um, Fantastic. So, yeah, this is pretty much the greatest thing ever. I have redstone collection number one and redstone collection number two now. I can sell anything redstone related and nobody else can. And if anything, this just means my plans for my factory just became even more critical to automate all this stuff so that I have infinite supply of stock at my amazing shop, which I have incredible ideas where I can't wait to make that shop now. Well, we need to get going. Number one on the list is where is my base going to be? We're going to do a little bit of free cam here. And you can see we got four netherrack pillars here. That's roughly where I think, I mean, I don't have any idea what my base is going to look like yet. I haven't started any builds or anything yet for the exterior, but I'm thinking 
That, if, if it was that size, I'd be pretty happy with it. Now, some things that I considered, I didn't want to kind of squash Ethos space out. You know, I didn't want to have my thing like dominate over his amazing build over there. So I wanted to push it back far enough. I didn't want to impede on Jem's area. We talked. She's okay with the, uh, with the location I've got here. I wanted to be close enough to feel like I was still part of the group, but not so close where I was snuffling out people. Snuffling? Snuffling. So the first thing we want to do is lay down a rough estimate of what I think the size of the storage room will be. Now, first thing you will notice is this storage room is a lot bigger than any other storage room I have ever had before. Is this giving me massive anxiety? Yes. Yes, it is, in fact. And already I can tell this room is probably too big. And we'll get to that later. I, I, still, I still have many decisions to make on what we're going to do here. But we have enough here where we can start to explain what the plan is for this season this is the major project of this season a lot of you are probably sitting there going like tango keeps talking about he's gonna make this factory i don't really know what that means sounds good i guess though but no really idea what's, what's going on so now is when you learn what is in fact going on okay this is going to be a completely automatic self-sustaining factory based on supply and demand okay this will be the entrance right here there'll be some terraforming and some stairs and everything so don't worry about that you'll enter the great factory right here now every every uh, chest that you see here okay every chest that's labeled with a product is something that's going to be automatically crafted in this factory based on demand so what that means is all of the chests are going to fill up automatically with the product labeled on them and then when i take some and remove some of the supply like i need you know hey I, i'm making a project i'm making a mini game i need a whole bunch of comparators i take a couple stacks of comparators out of here to go do comparatory things the system will automatically turn on and say whoa buddy you need more comparators let's automatically make those for you okay so in this case we're gonna get some smooth stone that'll be stored like somewhere around here we're gonna get some quartz which will also be stored here and then we're also gonna get uh, what is it redstone torches right are also going to kick on and they're all the things are gonna start moving around a conveyor belt system here which you're gonna see in a second I think you're gonna love it it's gonna move around the whole perimeter and as the resources get to the crafting section needed in this case the comparators they'll be picked up by some sorters and go into the auto crafter and then the supplies will automatically refill back back into these chests now the order of everything in this factory is very important in other words one of the rules of the factory is that all the supplies needed to craft something have already existed previously in the assembly line so everything flows from here around this way okay so if i need something here for sticky pistons i can't put slime balls over there or i can't put pistons over there right pistons have got to be previous to it so pistons will be delivered over here along with slime balls which will come around and then they'll be making sticky pistons right here now there'll be three main sources of craftable resources i guess you could say the first one here this is going to be my manual center this is where i put uh resources shulker boxes full of resources that i had to bring in from other uh farms so this is where like for instance the redstone the quartz and the gunpowder are gonna go you know shulker boxes full of those from the raid farm will go in here when i have at least one shulker box full this light will turn on so when the lights turn off i know hey it's time to go manually get those things from far away the second source of resources is of course the underground factory area that we've been working in before down below that we've already showed you we got the iron farm down there we got the bamboo farm the kelp farm we're gonna have a sugarcane farm down there those products are gonna be lifted up here go through some kind of zany water system who knows we're probably actually going to go extra elaborate and have it be moving around the ceiling and everything just for fun but eventually it'll make its way into some kind of storage system around this central area here now the third possible resource that something might require is is essentially something that's already been crafted previously in the chain you'll see the first two things we do here are planks and sticks a lot of things require planks and sticks that's why they're first we're crafting these from raw bamboo so when we run out of redstone torches or not when we run out, but when we get a little bit low on redstone torches the system will kick on and the sticks from over here will start popping out and going onto the conveyor system as well as some redstone dust from underneath here that stuff anything in here will go up this central column here i don't really know how this is going to work yet we'll figure this out but it's probably going to go up over a ceiling and drop onto the conveyor line just like any other resource would so let's take a little spin around the room real quick here and show you all the things that i plan on automating in this system now chiseled bookshelves i obviously i have a store for this so we're gonna be making a lot of those we got chest 
chests, shulker boxes automatically are going to be crafted here. Barrels, candles, beehives, and then all the redstone stuff. I got pretty much every redstone component. Uh, there's a gap right here because I think what's going to happen is back here, I'm going to put the remainder of my storage room. Everything that's not fully automated will go in a storage room back there. I'm not sure yet, though. I th that's what I'm leaning toward. Uh, but we got the crafters, we got the note blocks, and then we got uh, all three rail types here. Uh, torches, TNT, flight rockets, glass, smooth stone, smooth stone slabs, and then the three types of ice. I like this list. I like all the things we're doing here. I was debating uh, automating copper and all the copper pieces too, you know, all the, all the stairs and slabs and grates and all the new, you know, the bulbs and everything. But that would mean the room would have to be even bigger than this because every one of these crafters requires, you know, three or four blocks based on the redstone below, which we'll get to in a second. So it's it's kind of bulky to do all this stuff. So I think I'm going to cut all the copper automation and quite honestly, probably make the room a little bit smaller because this is a bit big. Oh, yeah. And now would probably be a good time to mention that to compensate for such a large storage room and just the pain of having to go across it everywhere and get around. We're going to have a permanent, obviously, run speed beacon going here and we're going to slab. We're going to bottom slab the floor and put soul soil underneath it and get soul speed boots now you put the two together and you can get around here pretty quick once you combine those two speed boots together you know i've had an idea i had an idea i think b-dubs is on right now i've been wanting to do something with him i think i'm going to invite him over we're going to try out a little experiment hi ho b-dubs hi ho b-dubs <laughs> How you doing? Are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm trying to pathificate here, and it's not going well. I'm just slapping a lot of dirt everywhere. But we'll see. It needs. That's that's the way. And then I, yeah. I, I got, I'm basically just looking at what Pearl did. I'm like, she's good at this. And then I just like, okay, I'm gonna add some mud. Yeah, yeah. Do the same thing. Mud, yeah, you know. But anyways, yeah. I'm uh, I'm here for a home inspection. Yes, 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 yes. So I I yes. had I had an idea. I had a thing. Okay. I'm hoping it can be a reoccurring thing, okay? Oh, interesting, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The idea, that my, my proposition to you is I would like to do a, a, little, a little bit, a B-dubs wisdom transfer, if you will. Ooh, okay. okay. I mm -hmm. would like to kneel down and bow before the master and say, <laughs> okay. may I please learn from you? Interesting. Can we can we rephrase? Can we change the word transfer? Because oh, because then that means transfer you're symbolizes yeah. that I give you <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. away from me. Share. No. Can we maybe like leech or That's suck? Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. The beat ups suck segment. I like it. Okay. <laughs> Here's the deal now. Okay. I want to. I want to get better at building. Okay. Okay. And I want to. You're doing fantastic. I know. I know. I want to preface all this with. I did not call you over here to say things are great and everything looks great. Okay? I know. What I yes, really, I know. What I really want is like hard criticism. And yep. And what would you have done differently mm -hmm. if it was your build? Mm -hmm. All right, so you want to just like tour the house and give it a spin and and just just yes. just rapid fire, you know this that this all the things that you would have done differently. Machine gun, exactly. Okay. Machine gun critiqueification. Ready, set, go. Okay. Ready, set, go. Okay. Um, there's, there's, there's first no, of all, I love the vines. Okay. They look beautiful. Too much. Um, no, perfect amount. Okay. Good. There's um, no filter. It's just you know the thoughts in your brain. Just let it go. Yes. For lights, I like small. Okay. That's a bit that's a bit Whoa. clunky on the light action. I agree. Done. Oh, that's cute. That's much quaint. better. I feel like that might be a little too sturdy for that. So okay. needs a chain. Let's just go. Yep. Let's just be simple. The, the chain and the lantern. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Perfect. I, here's what I tried to do. Okay. Here's okay. what I tried okay. to do. I tried mm -hmm. to look at where my lights were going to be and put the brighter mm -hmm. blocks behind it, and I tried to put the darker blocks far away. I think it oh. might have failed. I don't know. But I tried I that think... in a couple times, you know, like so smooth stone was the brightest, then andesite, yeah. then the then the uh stone bricks, and then tough being the darkest. Yep. Okay. So so for this effect, yeah, yeah, that's a thing. The further away you go, the more contrast you could have. You could even put sandstone or diorite right behind this lantern. Yeah, see? You go you, real, real bright. You go crazy with the contrast, and I just don't have the courage to do that yet. <laughs> I build <sighs> my stuff to be seen from very, very far yeah. away. This location, likely a close-up only. Okay. 
Distance equals more contrast. Got it. I get into this position where I find a spot and it's like, I need to put something here and I can't think of something. So right. I end up putting some things, correct? Yes. 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 Is that what the lamps are? Well, so yeah, the lamps were meant to be like some kind of electrical circuit thing mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to show that like this, this building is playing with like electrical power of some kind, but you're right. It, is, yes. it was very much a, I need something for this space because the window wasn't big enough. Suggestion. Yes. This could work inside and outside. If you put like a couple rows of uh, blast furnaces like on their side. Okay. And some observers and stuff as like a backing. Yeah. It'll, like it'll on the create, top and the bottom like, or something. Yeah. It'll yeah. create that look. Yeah. And make, make it even look like little like boards. There, or... Down there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. I like that. This side, of course, is probably the best side with the gears and the, oh, uh, yeah. uh, the pulleys. And all the things spinning yeah. around. I like this side. That roof on top, that's a nice shape. Pretend these are the stairs going up. Okay. Right? Yep. These are the stairs going up. And then this is the bone block and mushroom. Oops. Bad placement. This is the bone block and mushroom. Looking from this side. Right? Okay. Yep. 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 You replace this and this with like a diorite stair. And then it creates a dark spot in this corner. But they would go like this. Oh. Well, then what, so, what is back here? Because then now you got a block back here that you can see through, right? That That is dependent on that. So you can see it here now. Uh-huh. See how it creates that dark Ooh, in the corner? Okay. You're basically getting yeah. like a quarter block by doing that almost, yeah. You get a quarter block by doing that, yeah. And and this is about as close as anyone would see it from, so they're You're never right. going to... You're right. They're never going to You've got to be having it. a panic attack right now. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. I got to sleep. Yeah. I but like that, that still, trick. That's yeah, great. I, lo I love the roof shape that you made, but that's just another way to potentially enhance it. It's like a try hard move, you know? Yeah, hey, but, it's good. Uh, it's good. You went with darker texture underneath here because this is a shadow area, didn't you? Mostly that, yes. And I yeah. wanted it just to feel like an older foundation on this side. Like this is where the work's been kind of done over here and maybe things have been yep. dripping down or something. I don't know. When I have uh, plants and leaves next to a wall, I'll, I'll try to put in like mossy something. Mossy cobblestone yes. in the wall. Okay. You know? I like that. Because you're right. It always, I, this is something I always, I, it's an afterthought. I just slap down some leaves and I don't know how to shape that and stuff. Yep. You're saying like behind it, do the mossy cobble. Yeah. You could do mossy cobble there and even like and even here. picking up one. Yeah. Makes yeah. perfect sense. Yeah. Just yep. a little bit helps to kind of blend into the love background. Love it. Love it. Oh, see, that's yeah. good. That's good stuff. Yeah. Okay. And that, I'm, I'm going out on that one then. If that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Going out on a high note. Okay, I love it. Beat ups, <laughs> I appreciate the uh, first installment of what would we call it? B dubs. Oh, B dubs suck job. <laughs> we probably not want to call it that. No, no, no. <laughs> B dubs suck fest. There we go. Okay, All perfect. Right. And we are back at the factory and we've made some progress here. A couple things I want to show you that I think you're going to absolutely love here. Um, First of all, I guess I want to say my goal with this whole factory, uh, by the way, I decided to, I decided to change the direction of the flow of items. Instead of going that way, they're going to go clockwise around this way. It seemed to make more sense. So anyways, we're going we're gonna to flip everything on its head and items are going to go this way. And one of the primary goals I have with this factory is, is not efficiency at all. The, the, the primary goal of this factory is for, it to be, is for it to be fun and be interesting and, and, and kind of like cool to look at. I want there to be, there's going to be all kinds of custom sound effects and visuals. And I want, it's just crazy things happening. And one of the things, two things I want to show you right now that, that you're going to really like here. The first is when the items are crafted, this is the first crafting module here. This is a simple one. I'll, I'll show you what's going on in a second here. Uh, but when they're crafted, they go out the back there into that like little water stream there. They get booped up on that slime block and then booped forward and they fly over the conveyor belt, hit this block and fall down into this hopper and go into the chest. So basically every one of these crafting modules is gonna be hurling items across the conveyor belt. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and like tweak the the, uh, the launchificator and get a little bit more height and stuff like that. But this first one is, is super dirty because I was just playing with how many slime blocks I need and stuff. I'll clean all that up and get it better. But I, I love the idea of items flying up and flying over and then falling in rather than just being like lifted up a simple elevator or something. Now, the second thing I wanna show you, and this is, this is the part I'm incredibly excited about here. Okay, you see, we got water streams in here. This kind of represents our 
conveyor belt, right? Of the items going down the factory, right? They're going to be going over a bunch of sorters, you know, potentially being moved into some of the craftificators, being distributed, all that kind of thing. But you know what? You know what? I don't like water as a conveyor belt. So we're going to add our own conveyor belts that are going to hide the fact that the items are in the water stream. And this is super cool. So first of all, check this out. Okay, this is this is kind of just a mock up here of how the items. Uh, let's see if I can get one going here. There you go. Boom. It's aligned. Why did it go in the? No. Oh, my thing is all messed up here. Are you? Yeah, you're all messed up. All right, temporary, do that. You, didn't, you saw nothing. All right, hold on. We flick the thing. The item hits the honey block and rides down, okay? Everything's fine. But look at how this item is aligned. It is like 90% off the block and only just barely hanging on to the edge there and hanging on to the edge there is what allows it to go into these hoppers here but hanging mostly off the edge is what's going to allow it to do what we're about to do so like i said water boring boring not a very conveyor -y conveyor belt so uh instead we're gonna make our own <laughs> conveyor belts check it out bam but, all right, listen, pay no attention. I know they're going in the wrong direction. It's because I just changed the direction. We'll get all that figured out. And by the way, this is not final art at all. Where This is very much a work in progress. But you can see what is going on here. We got basically little cylinders. We got a little rusty background, like corroded, uh, you know, oxidized copper back there to like to hide the water. And because when an item is in the water stream, it's actually floating a little bit. Watch this, watch this, it's, it's pretty good. It kind of floats right along. I mean, it bounces a little bit. It's not perfect, it's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. Now, I think I'm not going, you just saw one of the issues there. We're gonna talk about that in a second. I think I'm not going to use ice because I intentionally want the items to go a little bit slower here. I want the, I want you to be able to see the items moving along and, and you know and match it up with the conveyor belt and it just feels better than having it zip by on packed ice. All right, so you're seeing one of the issues here, one of the drawbacks to adding custom models to the game. This is just a custom model that is sitting in the item frame down there. The problem is is that model is only really like this big, okay? So watch my screen. Watch it once I turn my viewport here, as soon as it goes out, the whole conveyor belt pops out that's no good we can't we can't have that okay so to fix that we have kind of an opposite uh conveyor belt that's gonna like mask that problem here watch this we're gonna put one right here now doink okay it basically it looks like i did nothing right except now there are two of them one is anchored over there and one is anchored right there and they're kind of overlapping so when i move my camera off to the side now that one on the left is not rendering anymore. It's the one in this item frame that is rendering now. And likewise, when I do this, that right one stops rendering. But because they're essentially the same item, you really don't notice it that much. There's maybe some like Z fighting stuff and some clipping we gotta fix, but overall it is gonna work great. And then when we wanna chain them together, we just do more of this. We just do like a, something like that and something like this. And you get a sense of what this factory is gonna look like now put in some sound effects, put in some extra flair, some extra visuals, it's gonna be amazing. And like I said, we're gonna be on bottom slabs here because the whole ground is gonna be soul soil so that we can uh, zip around here with soul speed. So we're gonna be looking from this, this height right here, which is a perfect height to be viewing the conveyor belt. Uh, I think it's gonna look great. Now, the other thing is all of this space in the back is left open and that's for a reason is because what i want to do is put all kinds of crazy visual stuff going on back there gears and cogs and spinning things and whistles and who knows what i can think of right there'll probably be some custom models back there we'll, we'll do a mix of what we can do with vanilla and what we can do with custom models and everything but as as a crafting unit kicks on i want something going on in the background that indicates that it's currently crafting items now for example and, and again this is a very simple and almost borderline cheap Easy effect here but imagine we're making redstone torches and above the redstone torch crafting system you see something like this that kind of like is doing this kind of like animation like looking to visually create a redstone torch i mean ignore the fact that that doesn't go back down there but i mean you get the idea 
right now as far as the redstone in this first crafting module here i'm not going to go over all the details here but just know that there's there's some cool features here like there's a there's abilities to signal remote systems to start uh requesting resources that we need to continue crafting because we're low there's of course systems to turn off the intake of resources coming in for instance if we have all the redstone dust we need to craft the current thing we want to lock this hopper so that we don't take any more redstone dust because there may be things down the line that are requesting redstone dust and we don't want to suffocate those things by continuing to take all the redstone dust and of course there's safety measures down here to turn all of the crafting off if we don't have a sufficient supply of all the different resources necessary to craft the product we're trying to craft it'll it'll turn off all itself now all in all there's going to be like three different modules there's the you know the diff amount of items needed to craft the item in question for instance this is a one item crafter there's a two item crafter there's a three item crafter and in the rare case that we need like four items to craft something like pistons or something i'm I'm gonna try to put those like on the corners uh like you know like right here because if you think about it the conveyor belt goes around the corner here there's a lot of space in the back corner here that's not utilized so i can put the complicated things here and do all kinds of custom crazy graftication back there <sighs> There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot going on here. And I know I just like blazed over like 50 different thousand ideas at the same time. Just know that I'm putting a lot of thought into this and I'm trying to get it right. A lot of things are still very much in flux and changing as you can tell. But the important thing is we're starting on the factory and I love this project. And with that, I am going to sign off for today. But first, I do want to mention that I have a fairly large family vacation coming up at the end of this week i'm going to be gone for like 10 days so there may be a little bit of a slowdown of videos i'm going to try to get one more done before i go and release it while i'm gone kind of thing but i can't make any promises i, I who knows who knows that's going to happen so bear with me there will be a little bit of a delay in videos and streams for a while as i spend some time with my family which i'm very much looking forward to but just know that guys that when we get back this is what i'm going to be diving right back into and i can't wait